Everyone has heard of Christopher Columbus, the famous admiral, who traveled from Europe to the west to find a new way east and stumbled upon some islands. He had no idea that there was a continent other than the way to his destination. Over the decades, this unexplored land developed into a lucrative Atlantic empire for Spain. Columbus had two sons. Hernando, the only illegitimate son of Christopher Columbus, Diego Columbus was the legal son of the explorer. While Diego continued his father's legacy as governor and admiral of the Indies, Hernando set his sights on becoming a scholar by producing the largest collection of printed books that existed. Edward Wilson Lee, professor of literature at the University of Cambridge, recently published the Catalogue of Shipwrecked Books, 2019, the only book describing the life of Hernando, the second son of Columbus, and his passion for books. When his father searched for gold and land for Christian conversion, Hernando searched bookstores for all the printed books and maps he could find. His goal was to create a universal library of books that could be shared with the Spanish people who sought information on every topic in the world. Hernando's ambition would be to turn his impressive library into the first database of information. He followed these books by frequent visits to most bookstores in at least 15 major European cities and to buy every new book he recently printed. Towards the end of his life in 1539, he earned 15,000 to 20,000 volumes. Hernando was born in 1488 which is important due to the fact the printing press had been invented 40 years prior and first used to print manuscripts into books. He began collecting from 1509 until his death in 1539, which forced him to collect all the books printed in the last 60 to 80 years after the invention of the Gutenberg printing press. Hernando wanted to build his library with all the known printed books, because he wanted to list all the human knowledge in every language and in every subject. He could not do this terrible work alone, but he paid the army of readers to compile every book he had. In early 2019, a thick 2,000-page volume had been discovered in Scandinavia. It was titled El Libro de las Epitomes or Book of Epitomes which was missing for 350 years. It summarized the contents of several books and classified them as a type of systematic structure. Lee believes that most of the books compiled in this collection are no longer available. It shows what Europeans read 500 years ago. Supreme Website, August 2, 2019. The second son of Christopher Columbus, a lesser-known figure who bought nearly every printed book on his own from inventing the printing press in 1509 until his death in 1539. But, little had been known about Hernando until Professor Edward Wilson Lee shed light on the book collector's life in his recent biography, The Catalogue of Shipwrecked Books. He found Hernando had created the original database search engine with summaries of his many books. According to the author, Hernando collected everything he could get his hands on. Manuscripts, pamphlets, in posters, everything went into his library. Guardian. 30 years later, after wandering the streets of Europe, searching for bookstores and buying everything he could not buy, Hernando died along with his books. Today only one-fourth of his collection has been stored in the cathedral in Seville, Spain since 1552. Many were stolen, and the floods damaged others. But, even today's volumes of the average-sized library contain much more books. Hernando collected a new world of many books and tried to maintain his father's honor. While Hernando's father, Christopher, explored the parts of the new world that Spain soon claimed to be part of an empire, Hernando discovered the books he dreamed would become an empire to learn from. Although Christopher himself failed to create an attractive treasure for Spain, Hernando's library did not become a source of knowledge for the Spanish people as expected, the Columbus family name disappeared from history.